Do you have some words for the camera? Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! So the last time I filmed was about two months ago. I have now moved back into my apartment with Chase. <laughs> yeah, my parents, I think, got over it once Boston was here. <laughs> as much as they didn't like me being pregnant, I think they just needed to see Boston in person for them to realize that it, like she's here no matter what. So the fact that I was a mom, like I think they accepted it and come to terms with it and now are supporting me. It's better than before because there's like less arguing. Communication with Chase has gotten a lot better now because we both understand that it's not only one-sided, it has to come, like the effort has to come from both of us, not just one of us. He's gone for most of the day, so then I'm taking care of her. But then when he's here, he does play with her. But then I have to like cook dinner or something. So I feel like I mean, it evens out on the weekends because he'll take care of her because he knows that for most of the week I take care of her. Some advice I would give to teens who are going through postpartum depression is that you need to open up. Um, <laughs> you need to go out as much as, like, or as hard as it is, you have to go out. You have to get your mind off of things. You have to do things that make you feel good because at the end of the day, you have to look out for your own health, for your own kid. If you aren't 100% with yourself, then you won't be able to give 100% to your kid. So, take care of yourself. <laughs> I think the biggest misconception of being a teen mom would probably be that you don't finish school and you're less likely to become successful as a person. And I think that's completely false because I'm about to graduate college with my psychology degree and I still have Boston, so. I think the biggest thing that I miss is having time to myself, um, going to the gym, being able to like just up and leave and not have to pack a diaper bag all the time and have to worry about someone else because it's a big responsibility that I have now and it's just I didn't have any before so now that <laughs> it's kind of like I don't know it's really hard for me being a parent in the middle of the pandemic is really hard because Boston is now old enough to like be able to like go to the zoo and like go to parks and stuff but we can't do any of that now and I don't want to risk Boston getting anything so we take Boston basically everywhere we go that's safe so my parents house Chase's parents house my sister's house and so she gets out but just not like into the real world <laughs> one word to describe Boston for me would be pure just because she's a baby and everything she does is like just so sweet to me. Like she has sweet blood, if that makes sense. And like Hispanic people usually say like babies are so innocent and pure, like they have sweet blood. So that's one word I would use. My favorite thing about being a mom is that now I have like my best friend forever. <laughs> and I never understood like that motherly love even though my mom always said she had it for me. I never really understood because as a teen, I didn't really appreciate my parents as much as I should have. So now that I have my own kid, I realize that like I would do anything for Boston. So I understand where my mom is coming from now. And I think that's the best thing is that now you know like your true love. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay! <laughs> I love my baby. 